Okay, I'm going to walk you through how to download an image off the internet, such as this Cadillac logo, save it as a JPEG, and then print it with your Cricut. So we've got the image. We're going to go over to our design space for Cricut. We've already signed in. We open design space, start a new project, and then we're going to upload an image. And you're going to go hit upload image one more time, hit next, and then you're going to browse to the place where you just saved that image. I saved mine under pictures, new pictures, or new folder, and you can see I've done this once before. I picked the Cadillac logo, I hit simple image, and then continue to the next step. Here, I'm going to remove all the white space I don't want cut out, such as the space between the letters. And I also want to get rid of this pesky trademark sign uh, by using the eraser tool. And once I'm sure that's good and gone, I'll select the eye, which shows me exactly what it's going to cut out. Once you're happy with that, you hit next. I unselect this preserve original image because I don't want to use printing. You can print on your printer and then stick it in the Cricut and uh, it'll print out or it'll cut out what you just printed out. But in this case, I don't want to preserve. And you can see the image has been uploaded. And then I use my design space. I scroll to the top and I scroll to the left and then drag the image all the way up to the top for reference so I know how big the image will be. We hit print. It takes you to the next screen, and then you're going to have to move the image one more time. It does not stay put like you would think. Maybe they'll change that in the next version of Design Space. You can see with the scissor tool, it's cutting only. It's not printing. And then you hit Go. And now I don't have my machine connected. But that's how you get it started.